The Kingdom of Hyrule is a vast place to explore in Tears of the Kingdom, and while you'll eventually be able to skydive from towers and utilize Zonai devices to cross land, sea, and air, there are some times when you just need a mount that doesn't rely on batteries. This holds especially true early in the game when you're still discovering new regions and towers, so we've got all the info you need on how to get a horse. As soon as you get back down on the surface of Hyrule, you can already start hunting for a trusty steed, but we recommend mainlining the story quests just a little bit, at least until you get the paraglider and activate the lookout landing Skyview Tower. Wild horses can be found all over the landscape of Hyrule, but most tend to stick to the grassy plains which surround central Hyrule Field. They're often found in groups of three to four, and you should be able to even spot a few just to the west of Lookout Landing. To tame a horse, you'll need to find a way to get on its back, and avoid getting thrown off. The problem is, horses spook easily. You can try pressing in on the left control stick to crouch and slowly come up behind them, but all it takes is one to spot you before the rest stampede away. You can also approach a horse slowly with a food item in your hands, like an apple or a carrot. Some of them may still spook, but others may approach you to take the snack. If you have trouble approaching them, you may find it easier to surprise one from the air. So, why not shoot out of the nearby Skyview Tower for height? Or, if you're far from a tower, look for a ridge or even a tall tree to get some air to paraglide down from. If a horse took a snack from you, you'll be able to mount it without a fight. Otherwise, once you sneak up and press A, or land on them from above, you'll need to mash the L button with your remaining stamina to calm it down. Certain horses may be stronger than others and require more stamina, but you can pause to use stamina replenishing food if you're in danger of running out. Once it settles down and your stamina bar indicator goes away, you'll successfully have the horse under your control. But your task isn't over yet. As far as the game is concerned, you still own a wild horse, and if you get separated or fast travel away, you won't have an indicator to find it again. Instead, you'll need to gently guide the horse to the nearest stable to register it. The term gently is used because your new horse can still be fairly unruly and unpredictable. It may veer off course, stop suddenly, or generally just be hard to get going. So be sure to periodically tap the L button to continue to soothe it to increase your bond, and settle it down when it decides to become difficult. You can also feed your horse by holding food out in front of it to speed up this bonding process. An unregistered horse can only be taken in at one of Hyrule's many stables, which can be found along the main roads in every direction leading from Hyrule Field. Technically, work has even begun on a mini stable in Lookout Landing, but it won't be ready early in the game. Thankfully, there's one not too far away to the southeast at Riverside Stable that you can get to by following the roads from Lookout Landing. If you found a horse elsewhere in the world, just keep an eye out for the drifting puffs of smoke that signify a stable is in the area. Once you reach the safe haven of a stable, speak to the man behind the counter at the front to officially register both Link and your new horse. Stables now have a Pony Points Rewards program, so the more you visit new locations or spend the night, and the more horses you board, the more rewards you'll get in return. You'll also find when registering and naming your horses that each wild horse has their own stat pool, which rate their strength, speed, stamina, and a new one not featured in Breath of the Wild called Pull that measures how well they can tow objects. In Tears of the Kingdom, you can unlock a towing harness with just three pony points as your first reward. Equip it at a stable to attach wagons and such to your horse. Those who have played Breath of the Wild may find an extra treat when using a stable. If you have saved data from the previous game on your current console that you're playing Tears of the Kingdom on, the game will transfer over any horses you have stabled in the previous games, including their names and customization. Just like in Breath of the Wild, players who have access to either the Smash Bros. series Link Amiibo or the Twilight Princess HD series Link Amiibo can scan them using your ability wheel to summon a Pona at will. A Pona has 4 stars in strength, speed, and stamina, but due to her legendary status, cannot be renamed or upgraded, and she cannot be equipped with a towing harness, so it's still worthwhile to get another horse registered. Even if you find and register a horse that appears to be lacking in some categories, there is a way to strengthen your horses. You'll need to journey far to the northeast of Hyrule, past a pretty nasty blockade of monsters, to reach the Akala region. If you head north from Terrytown and the East Akala stable, you can find the mythical horse god fairy, Melania, who asks only for a single Endura carrot.
After this, you'll find that you can either revive a horse that has died in your care, or enhance the abilities of any horse you've registered in exchange for some hearty meals. Some of these meals can be quite specific in their ingredients, and you can push horse traits as high as 5 stars with enough meals to trade for. For instance, upgrading a trait to level 2 will only require a single meal, but upgrading to level 5 will require 3 different types, as well as 3 of each meal. And that's our quick guide on how to get a horse in Tears of the Kingdom. For more quick tips like these, make sure to head over to IGN.com to check out our growing Tears of the Kingdom wiki and interactive map. And for everything else Zelda, keep it here on IGN.